Hello, it's me, the Broadcast Ninja, and I'm back with another gem for you. Right here, imagine this, okay? Radio automation. You broadcast your radio station, and people listen to it. Now, what they listen to, what they hear when they, when they listen, is your output, okay? Now, your output could be you on your microphone talking, it could be just MP3s playing, or you could take a stream off the internet and restream it through your output. Whatever your output is, you decide, but they just listen the one way. Okay, right, so so let's work this out. Um, you're, you're on um, your station, and at 10 o'clock, you want to hand over to your mate John, who's going to do a radio show, okay? And then at 11 o'clock, his show's going to finish and you're going to do whatever's next. So whatever the system will do it with now, you can apply to whatever time, as many times as you feel you need. But it's only the one process. So I'm only going to show you the one process. Now, you could do this either by having an event to do it, or by running a script, a PAL script to do it. Don't worry about PAL scripts. We got it and you I've got your back with PAL scripts, don't worry. Or you can have an event and a PAL script both work together. Okay? That's what we're gonna do. So let's work this out. Your radio station is playing its music or doing what it's doing, and at ten o'clock, John's gonna come on. So you wanna fade whatever's playing at ten off. And bring John in. And then when John's finished, fade him off and bring in whatever's next. So we got that fade in point. Now, if we got a song playing like that, that song playing, I'll, I'll put it on here for you. Right. You got a little bit of it there. Right. And now if that fades out, if you listen, you got one, two, three, four, about five seconds. It takes about five seconds to fade out a song. OK, so if you want it to start at 11 o'clock exactly, you'll want to start fading out five seconds before 11 o'clock. OK, right. So that will be um, 22, 59 and 55 seconds. You'll want to load that up at uh, you want that script to start turning off that stream at 22, 59 and 55 seconds, okay? Right, so how would I do that? Over here on our PAL scripts, we already have a PAL script made. I will leave a link where you can get all these PAL scripts together, right? It's called endlivestream.pal, okay? And that will end uh, graciously whatever's playing at the time. So whatever's playing at the time will be ended graciously by this stream okay but before we do that we want to load john's stream into our playlist so we can fade out whatever's playing and bring in john so we want to load john before before the time that he starts now if this is fading out at 55 okay then we'd want to load john at least by 50 and by that i mean 22 hours 59 minutes and 50 seconds it would load john and then five seconds later it will fade out whatever's playing to let john come in okay let's get that going so first of all i go to event scheduler and i click go and what happens is this opens and i'm going to say execute a pal script and the PAL script we're going to execute is end live stream. So we say, OK, uh, what time do you want it to go? We want it to do that at 22 over here, 59, and then over here, 55 seconds. And then we're going to say add that and say OK. So that's up there ready to go. But now what we want to do is we want to click on event scheduler again and it'll open up and then we're going to say add files to queue and then down here is an earl click on earl and what you can then do is get john's stream and pop it in there 
and say OK. But what the one thing you're going to change is here. If you look, it says um, to the bottom. So if you had a list of eight or nine songs playing at the time, it would load John to the bottom of all those songs. So all those songs will have to play before John gets there. You don't want that. You want to add him to the top. So you add the word top in, taking notice of the capital T. OK, so that's all good. Uh, once that's done, you set the time. You want it to be uh, 22 and then you want it to be 59 and then you want it to load at 50 seconds. So when it starts to fade, it's already loaded. So that's that done. And then you say, OK. So you click. Oh, so at least one value time. I've got to click add. There we go. Add. So then you say, OK. And then that goes up there. One thing I should have said is you can give the event a name. So up here um, where it says give the event your name, you can say um, fade at 55 seconds. OK, right. And then so that's there. And then over here, you can give that a name, uh, edit that. And then over here, you would call it Start John. Like that. And then say OK. And that will go there. And then what you want to do, at uh, if he starts at um, 11 o'clock 23, he might have a two-hour show. So what we need to do is come up here and then... Um, a new one is called Stop John. OK, and then you're going to say that's going to be the next day, 23, um, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, And then you're going to add that and you're going to execute a PAL script and it's going to be end live stream again like that. And you're going to say, OK, like that. So now you've got fade at 55 seconds. Then it will start John. And then it will stop John when it's time to stop John. And whatever's in the playlist, whatever's here in the playlist, um, it will start playing. Or you can start the... Um, you could start a, another stream. You can you can come over here if you want to. Come back here. And again, um, that's a stopping John. So if you've got someone who's next, you could say, OK, we're going to start a new one. And we're going to say start 60s because someone's coming in with a 60s show. And that's going to be zero one zero zero. Oops, zero one zero 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 one. Take one second in past the hour uh, on the twenty third. You're going to say add that, and then you're going to execute. Uh, you're going to add files to queue. Come down here and add the new Earl. OK, now, if you don't do that, if you don't do that, you can put a clock wheel in there. Um, if I if you haven't heard me discuss clock wheels yet, then you've not got to that video or more to the point, I've not recorded that video yet. But we will go over clock wheels. You can put a clock wheel in there, which will start automating music through the day till your next DJ comes but that is pretty much the bare bones of how to automate, uh, bring a DJ in or bring a stream in or, or, or change what your output is um, by using events and by using, um, by using power scripts. And just one more time, uh, I'll let you see that power script right there. That's it. Feel free to pause the video and, and write it down if you want. But I will leave links 
um, in time to get the PAL scripts. Or if you want the PAL scripts, send me a message on the comments and I'll email them out to you. I think that's, you know, I think that's the best way to do it. Uh, if you want a copy of the all the PAL scripts, uh, just leave a comment and uh, I'll get them to you quite simply. Um, and that's that's it. Stand by for more videos about Sam Broadcaster uh, appearing on a YouTube channel near you very soon. I am the Broadcast Ninja and I say ciao for now because it just sounds so cool. <laughs>